Hello first graders, my name is Miss Smith and today we are doing Saxon lesson 125. <laughs> okay, I can't really talk in an accent. I think it's super cool, I wish I could, but it always sounds a little bit ridiculous. But at any rate, we are doing Saxon lesson 125 today. Normally that would be an assessment, it means it's a test that your teacher would give you to see what you know and what you still need to learn. But I'm not going to give it to you as a test. I'm just going to do it as a review and as a game because I love to play games. Okay, so you might remember from last assessment, if you did it with me, that we were only doing half of the retired deck because our retired deck is so huge. Remember the cards we only do once a week? So I cut it in half. We did half last week. Now we're doing the other half this week. So we're starting on Digraph EE. -E. Will you do it with me? Ready? Digraph EE, -E, E consonant E, X, Y, Digraph SH, woo, Digraph OO, J, V, final syllable B L E, final syllable F L E, final syllable P L E, final syllable D L E. Final syllable T L E, final syllable G L E, A P Z I L, digraph C K N, digraph N G, digraph T H O, consonant E, C B, digraph E E, E, consonant E. Ooh, nice job. Okay. So that was the first half of our retired letter deck. Now we're going to do the first half of our retired picture deck. So it will start on zebra z. Will you do it with me? Ready? Zebra z, vest, z, bubble, bull, staple, pull, hose, o, cat, k, inch, i, icicle, i, candle, dull, Bottle, tull, bugle, gull, pig, p, tent, t, ruffle, pull, apple, a, acorn, a, sun, s, rose, z, duck, k, dog, d, fish, f, hat, h, goat, g, rabbit, r, kite, k, cube, u, balloon, b, monkey, M, elephant, e, equal, e, ring, n, zebra, z. You got it. Okay. Let's now go to our suffix cards. Remember, we don't retire those because there's just not very many of them. So let's go through these starting suffix less. Ready? Suffix less, suffix li, suffix ness, suffix s, z, suffix es, Suffix ing, suffix t, t, ed, suffix e, suffix less. You got it. Nice job. Okay. Now what I want to do is go through our spelling sounds, but you're not going to write them down. I just want you to say them. I just want to see if you know them. I want you to see if you know them. So I will say a sound. I'll point to you. Tell me the letters that make that sound, and then we'll just go to the next one without writing anything down. Ready? Number one. U, U, consonant E, comma, U, final, digraph, U, E. You got it. Number two is a new one. Number two. J, J, comma, G, final, trigraph, D, G, E, comma, G, E. You got it. Number three. S comma C final S S comma C E. You got it. Number four. Ah. O. Number five. Er. Combination E R. Number six. Or. Combination O R. Number seven. I. I, consonant E, comma, I, final, vowel, Y. You got it. Number eight. Oi, diff, 
diphthong, O, I. Final diphthong, O, Y. Number nine, shun. Final syllable, T, I, O, N. And number 10 is also kind of a new one, number 10. Ch. Digraph, C, H. Final digraph, C, H. Comma, trigraph, T, C, H. Yes, nice job. Okay, the reason I saved those two spelling sounds for last with uh, trigraph DGE, trigraph TCH is because you're going to need them for our game today. Here's how our game is going to work. If you've played this before, you're already really good at this. I will put a T on the board for teacher and then I will put an S on the board for student. And what we're going to do is spell and code words. So you have to have the word spelled and coded correctly in order to get the point. And if we both get it correct, then we would both get a point. So whoever has the most points at the end wins, which means you probably need to have either a little whiteboard like mine or a little piece of paper or something where you can keep track of what the score is. Because of course I can't see what score you're getting, so I don't know if you're winning or if I'm winning, but I kind of bet that I'll win because I'm a teacher and teachers are super smart, right? Right? Okay, so here we go. First word, spell for me the word bridge. What word? Bridge. And if you need help remembering what says j, j, j at the end of a word, I put our sign right here or ch, ch, ch up here, bridge. Remember, it has to be coded in order to get the point. Okay, time's up. Let's check bridge. Bridge should be B-R-I-D-G-E. D-G-E after short vowel I. And then of course to code it, underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe above the I. Did you get it? I know I did, so teacher gets a point. So you would wanna mark a point for me on my score if you're keeping score, and then a point for you if you got it right. And if you didn't get it right, don't mark a point, but fix it. Okay, next word. Um, this is a type of hammer, a really heavy hammer. Spell for me the word sledge. What word? Sledge. Sledge. Remember to code it. Okay, let's check it, see how you did. Sledge should be spelled S-L-E-D-G-E. -E. I hope you got D-G-E after short vowel E. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe. Wait, breathe. Wait, what? Oh, man. Oh, why do I always forget about the little vowels? You're actually supposed to put a breathe above the E to show it says eh, eh, eh. And I forgot. So teacher doesn't get a point. That's all right, I'm gonna catch up on the next one. Erase, erase. Next word, um, part of a book, spell for me the word page. What word? Page. P-A-A, page. P-A-H. Okay. Let's check it, we'll see how you did. Page should be P-A-G-E. I hope you remembered after a long vowel, we don't use D-G-E. After a long vowel, we use G-E. P-A-H, Macron the A, cross out the E, J dot the G. <gasps> yes, I just realized I got another point. Erase, erase. Next word. 
is a word that means if you very gently bump someone, spell for me the word nudge. What word? Nudge. 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 Okay, let's check nudge. Nudge is N-U-G-E. Wait, 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 wait. Na, uh, uh. Na, uh, uh. That's a short vowel. After a short vowel, the, oh man. Dang it, I should have done trigraph D-G-E because I'm thinking if I were to do U consonant E, it makes the U say U, U, U. That would be the word nuge, nuge, or nuge. <laughs> That's not a word. Oh man. Oh, so I should have had a little trigraph D, G, E in there. Man. Okay, fine. Teacher doesn't get a point. But did you? Huh? Did you get trigraph D, G, E? Oh, dang it. A lot of kids say they did. Okay. Erase, erase. Next word is a word that means if you get really mad, spell for me the word rage. What word? Rage. 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 Okay, let's check it. Rage should be R-A-G-E. And I hope you noticed this time I remembered after a long vowel use G-E with a J dot crossed out maker on the A. Yes, teacher gets a point. Oh, I just love getting points. Erase, erase. Next word, let's take a break from the J sound and see how you do with the CH sound. Spell for me the word pitch. What word? Pitch. Okay, did you get pitch? Pitch should be P-I-T-C-H. Did you get trigraph T-C-H after short vowel I? Oh, some kids did. Underline, cross out the T, breathe above the I. forget about those little vowels. I should have put a breathe above my eye. Pitch. Man, fine. Teacher doesn't get a point. <sighs> erase, erase. Okay, I'm going to do better on the next word. Spell for me the word match. What word? Match. Mat, mat, at, at. time I won't forget to code it. Match. Ready? Let's check it. Match should be spelled M-A-T-C-H. Try graph T-C-H after short vowel A. And look, look, look. I coded my A. Ah, are you so proud of me? Yep. So teacher gets a point. Erase, erase. I hope I'm winning. I'm a little bit worried I'm not. Oh, this will be a good word. Okay, next word is bunch. What word? Bunch. 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 Be sure you code it. Okay, let's check it. Bunch is B-U-N-T-C-H. Trigraph TCH, underline, cross out for you. Wait, wait a minute. TC, why did I use TCH? Oh, man. Do you know what I think I was doing? I think I noticed there was a short letter U here, but, uh, unch. And I forgot, there's a consonant N right there. After a consonant, I don't use TCH. After a consonant, it's plain old CH. Oh man, uh, 
Okay, fine, teacher doesn't get a point. I think I'm gonna move to a different type of board so that I can get some points here. Ooh, 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 okay, I have a good one. Chopper's out. Tell me the root word and suffix in hopping. Root word suffix hopping is hop ing. Root word is hop. Starting root word, hop. Hop. The root word ends in vowel consonant comes in blank. I don't know if anybody's gonna get this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this point. Okay, hopping should be spelled H-O-P-P-I-N-G. Because don't you remember the doubling rule? It used to just be root word hop, but then you say if a root word ends in a vowel consonant and comes in front of a vowel suffix, you double the consonant. You double the consonant. Yes. <laughs> Five points. I love when I get points. Wait, are you getting points too? I don't know if I should be so excited. I better keep trying. Erase, erase. Next word, choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in stepping. Root word suffix stepping is step. Ing, root word is step. Step. And add your suffix, make it say step. Ing. Step. Ing. Okay, let's check it. This one was like way too easy. Stepping should be S-T-E-P-I-N-G. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I think I'm missing something. If a root word ends in a vowel consonant, it's E of L, P is a consonant, and comes in front of a vowel suffix, you double the consonant, you double the consonant. <laughs> it. Oh man, I forgot I should have doubled that little consonant P, which means that's how it should have looked. S-T-E-P-P-I-N-G. Man. Okay, fine. Teacher doesn't get a point. Wait, did you? Oh, some kids say yes. Erase, erase. Tell you what, I'm better at round two. Let's move to round two, which is the picture round. Will you split your board down the middle? And on this side, will you write digraph I E? And will you code it to show the E sound? Underline, cross out, macron, the E. On this side, will you also write digraph I E? But will you code it to show the I sound, underline, cross out, macron, the I. And then what I want you to do is draw the picture that goes with each of these digraphs. See if you remember what the picture is that goes with each digraph. Uh, shoot, which one goes with E, E, E? I can't remember. Something you use to protect yourself? <gasps> Which one goes with I, I, I? Is it pi? Pi, I? Or tie? Tie, pi? <gasps> no, I think it's what you eat. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna win. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you really ready? Okay, let's check it. Digraph, IE says E should be shield E. Will you say it? Shield E. And IE says I should be pi I. 
Will you do it? Pi I. And if you got both of those, it means you got two points. If you just got one of them, it means you got one point. And if you didn't get either of them, fix it. But I got both of them, so I got two points. One, two. Which means, I don't know if you're noticing this, but I just got five, six, seven. I just got seven points, y'all. I think that's the highest I've ever gotten in one of these games. So I wonder if I won. Show me thumbs up or down if I beat you. Thumbs up means I beat you, thumbs down means I didn't. Let me see. Wait, what? 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 Oh, man. A lot of kids said, um, no, you didn't beat me. Man, no fair. No fair first graders beating the teacher. I think I gotta do an easier game next time. Okay, ready? Here's what's going to happen. This next part is the test and I'm not going to spell the words with you because this is just to see what you know. And you can turn it into your teacher or like I've said before, you can just show it to someone at home so they can see how smart you are. But I'm just going to tell you what the words are and then you're going to spell them. Ready? Up at the top by number one, spell for me the word pledge. What word? Pledge. Pledge. Okay. Go downstairs, number two, spell for me the word scratch. What word? Scratch. Okay, number three, spell for me the word age. What word? Age. Like, what is your age? How old are you? Age. Number four, spell for me the word inch. What word? Inch. Number five, will you get your choppers out? Tell me the root word and suffix in cutting. Root word suffix cutting is cut ing. Root word is cut. Start root word cut. Add your suffix, make it say cut ing, cut ing. Okay, then I want you to go downstairs and I just want you to match all of these letters to their pictures. Would you do that? Match each of those to their pictures. Go. Okay, as soon as you have that part done, let's come down to the very bottom. And on the very bottom, what I want you to do is code the words to show what they say. Ready? Number 10 says, mouthpiece. Will you code it to show mouthpiece, mouthpiece? Number 11 is thief. Will you code it to show thief? 12 says, tie. Will you code that to show tie? And 13 says, hitch. Will you code Hitch. Okay, this next part up here, you're just supposed to read those words to someone. And up here, normally you would have to tell your teacher what those letters were called and what they say. You'd have to say digraph IE says EI. But we're not going to do that part. Come down here and what I'm going to do is read the story so that you can hear it and then afterwards, I'm going to ask you to read it on your own. So right now you can just listen. It says, a long time ago, people had no cars. Oh, and my paper's kind of bent. Sorry about that. A long time ago, people had no cars. They had to ride a horse or ride in a wagon. The wagons were big and could hold many people. 
fabric was put on top to keep sun and rain from being a problem. When they had to travel a long way, the wagons lined up on the roads. The people felt better traveling together. At night, they formed a circle with the wagons and the people stayed in the center of the circle. Okay, what I want you to do is practice reading this all by yourself now until I say stop. If you finish early, just start back over. Ready, read. Okay, stop. It's okay if you did finish. It's okay if you didn't finish. Either way, we're going to jump down to number 21. And it says, how did people travel a long time ago? Was it trains, wagons, swimming? Will you mark which one it was? How did they travel a long time ago? Trains, wagons, swimming. Number 22 says, what was on top of the wagon? You can go back and look in the story if you need to, but what did they say was put on top of the wagon? Go. Okay, last one, number 23 says, what did the people do at night with their wagons? Cleaned them, formed a line, formed a circle. What did the people do at night with their wagons? Will you color it in? Cleaned them, formed a line, formed a circle. Okay, guess what? That's it for our assessment, for our review, which means I will see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.